Oh yeah. Look what I got. It's a weird clock thing. It's a digital clock. It's quite a funny one. It's a digital clock with a bit of a difference. Because this one is, you can plug what's called a vibrator, a bed vibrator, crying out loud, into the, and when the alarm goes off, it also vibrates the bed. Why? I don't know. It must be for some people who really, really can't wake up. But the vibrator for this is long gone. Long gone. I'll get my head out of the gutter in a minute now. But this is part of being passed to me. Um because it was going to get thrown out. I'm now like the magnet for everyone's junk. And instead of chucking it out the bin or going up the tip, they just bring it to me. So apparently this is lighting up. But except for dimming, it ain't doing anything. Quite a neat looking thing, really, isn't it? If you're into that sort of thing, I suppose. Or be like for a kid's room. It's quite nice for a little, little clock for a kid's room. See if my daughter wants it. Anyway, it's not working. I don't know what that. I don't know why this is. Unless you can power it from the. Or chat. Ch I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. I'm not that interested in this, to be honest with you. But let's see if we can find out why it isn't working. So we'll move that over there. So now is that point in the video where we take it apart. Now before we do that, if I could ask you very, very politely to press that subscribe button. You know you want to, and it helps the channel get out there more. So go on, do me a favour, press the subscribe button, and we'll crack on. So four screws in the back. <laughs> See how quick I can do it. Oh, it's coming off, it's coming off. Two of the screws have come out, the other two must be still holding on for dear life. Right, so this power comes in directly from the board here. The plugs. So this is a speaker for the alarm. Battery power. And then, so we got battery. So we, we, we know there's power coming over because the screen's lit up. So, and we know these are doing something because the dimming action is working. So I'd say, let's take this board out and have a look. Right, oh, they're already coming out. Oh, it's coming out, it's coming out. Is this one go back in there? Me. Oh no! The chip of blobs. The swines. They are nothing but a pain in the ass. Right, let's have a look. Is that scratch with it? No. Yeah, what oh, is? Oh, I hope that trace is intact because that's going to the blob chips. I think I can do about that. Well, it is actually. I'm talking absolute nonsense, really, because I can go either side of it. Oh, hello. Right. I'm going to take a punt here and say this is a fuse. Because I'm only seeing a single digit in the middle. There, and there's one here, and there's one up here, and there's one over here. And they're all roughly the same dab. That means they're the same size in my language. Oh, 
that is not a scratch actually, that's glue. Okay, so that's all right. Hmm. So we need to get him off. Where's my flux? I may be able to do this with the, um, the heat gun now. bag of resistors. This could take a while. I'll see you in a minute. We're back. And I got some. Funny enough, as soon as I put you on pause, it just jumped out at me. These did. Yeah, that's not what happened at all. It's taken me friggin' ages. These are a bit smaller. Hmm. I'll have to try and fill it with um folder. There he is. Christ, he is a lot smaller. Hell of a lot smaller. Well, in fact, ridiculously amount smaller. Laughably different size. There, yeah, it's on that side. So I just scooch the solder over here now. Let's put a bit of flux on, help him out. There we are. See where we are with this then. Let's see if it was that. Yes! Uh, time set. Twelve twenty-four hour. Volume.
Oh, that's better. There we go. So, it's working. Seems brighter as well. Don't know if that's me making that up in my head. So the weird vibrator clock thing lives on without the vibrator. Hmm. Ta-da. <laughs>